It's tough being a South Philly sensation, you know? I mean, like, everywhere I go, people are asking me questions about, like, what I'm doing next. Like, I got people on Morris Street asking what I'm up to. And I live on Tasca. All right? It's tough, you know? I'm always trying to inspire. I want to inspire with my dances. I mean, when I do a shim, sham, shimmy to come on, feel the noise, I want people to feel the noise, you know? Otherwise, why do it? So I was thinking, like, how am I going to out-inspire myself? How am I going to do better this next time? And then it dawned on me. I am going to dance for Obama. Yeah, I'm going to do it. Think about it. Barack Obama is one of the most inspirational figures in today's day and time. He is the first African-American president to become president of the United States of America. All right? Think about what that means to so many different people. You know what I'm saying? Like, it's such a symbol. Like, my grandmother was black. Okay, that's, um, that's not true. My grandmother thought she was black. She had Alzheimer's. But my point is, is that the discrimination that she imagined in her mind was no less real to her. And I feel like the election of someone like Barack Obama would do so much to inspire people like my grandmother. It, to be honest, I don't really know if it would inspire my grandmother. The Alzheimer's, it was pretty bad, especially at the end. But what I'm trying to say is simply this. If you want to be inspired, if you want to remember why you do whatever it is that you do, wherever it is you do it, you should come down to the Arts Parlor this Saturday, April 4th, for the Tribe of Fools, April Fools Rules benefit, all right? Because I'm going to be hosting and I'm going to be dancing for Obama. If you want to see me dance for Obama, you should come down. The doors open at 7, the show starts at 8, and I'll probably do a shuffle off the Buffalo for Barack Sometime around uh, 8.45 or something. Alright? So you should come down and check it out. I think you, you, you're not going to be regretting it.